Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a adapter from a LiPo battery with an XT60 on one side to a barrel connector that gives out the voltage that you want, in my case 7.4 volts to power your FPV goggles or any other equipment that you want to power in the field. So I can just plug the barrel connector in and make sure it's plugged here. Got some Velcro to stick it to the battery. And it powers my goggles. And I could also see the current voltage of the battery. So I know that my battery isn't dropping uh, below the volts that I want it to. And this option for me is way better than the included battery that comes with the goggles because this only gives me uh, about a half an hour of uh, flying time. So let's get to the build. For the parts list, I'm going to use a 3S battery, the 2200 milliamp. Uh, I'm going to use some spare cable, just the two two sided cable. I'm going to use a barrel connector that you could connect the cable into it very simply with screws. I'm going to use uh, XT60, a uh, female XT60. I'm going to use a small voltmeter and I'm going to use a step down converter. It's an LM25. 96 DC to DC step down converter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect a, just a spare piece of uh, wire to the XT60 so we can connect it to the step down converter. And I'm just going to put some solder. And I'm going to put some solder on the XT60 itself. And let it cool down. I'm going to do I'm just going to put a little bit of a heat shrink on each of the each of the wires. Melt it down, and this part is ready. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect it to the step down converter. So, as you can see, hopefully the camera's focused. On the step down converter, we have an in over here and an out over here. So we're going to connect the XT60 lead uh, to the in. But first, I'm going to shorten it up because it's pretty long. Just may have uh, add a dab of solder on there. And I'm going to put solder as well. Also, on the connector on the lever. While we're at it, I'm also going to put on the on the other side. Now I'm just going to connect the X260 to plus to plus, minus to minus. So that should do it for now. The next thing we're going to do. Uh, I have this voltmeter, which is going to show me the voltage as I connect the battery. It's going to show me the battery voltage, not the voltage coming out. So let's connect that now. And I'm also going to shorten the wires because they're pretty long. Add a bit of solder. I'm going to solder it straight. To the connections of the XT60, so it gets the battery's voltage. So now it's connected, and just to make sure it works, I'll connect my battery, and we'll see if we get a voltage showing over here. And as you can see. I have my voltage over here, and I have uh, blue LED 
on here that shows that the thing, that the converter is working. So now what I've got to do, I've got to hook up a multimeter and check to see what voltage I want. Okay, so now I've got the multimeter hook up, hooked up and uh, you, as you can see the voltage now is around 9, it's a little bit jump because my hands are moving. And I'm going to set it down to 7.4 by twisting the potentiometer. Yeah. It seems about fine, so I'm going to leave it at 7.5 and now I know that it doesn't matter whatever uh, battery I put in, it's always going to output 7.5 uh, as the output voltage and that's exactly what my goggles need. I'm going to just take out the battery and I'm going to connect this uh, cable to the out connectors. I'm just going to add a little bit of solder. Now if, you, if you're using a cable like this, if they're both black, you should know that the one with the white side, you should make sure which one it is, that's how you know if it's a plus or a minus. I'm going to put the one with the white on the plus, so I don't get confused. So now I have it connected and on the other side of the wire I'm going to get my desired voltage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip it off and connect it to the barrel connector. I got my wires stripped and I got my barrel connector and I'm going to connect the plus to the plus and the minus to minus. And just remember that the, the plus is the one with the white stripe on it. Put in the minus. So now that we, we have it all finished, so next thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to wrap it with electrical tape and maybe put a piece of Velcro on the bottom so I can stick it to the batteries because most of my batteries have Velcro on them. A bit of a uh, hot glue under this voltmeter so it doesn't like wiggle around. Take a piece of Velcro and put it on the bottom. And now I just connect it to my battery. And I can connect my battery to it. And I could I could monitor the battery voltage so I know I'm not going below the voltage that I'm supposed to. And I have out over here I have 7.4 volts coming out to my goggles. So now I'm just going to connect it to the goggles to show that it works, hopefully it does, and it works perfectly, and this battery is probably going to last me a lot much, a lot, a lot longer than this battery, it lasts me like half an hour.